Welcome guys to another video tutorial from helpvid.net So today we're going to actually transport or import a spreadsheet table directly into Dreamweaver I've been asked this question a couple of times so I decided to do a tutorial on this So first we'll go to our spreadsheet So I've got a spreadsheet here, it's actually the, the heavyweight rankings How the belts have passed hands throughout the years and say I want to transfer this into here, into Dreamweaver rather than having to individually cut and paste every single cell we can actually transfer this document directly into Dreamweaver so it doesn't matter if you're on a Microsoft Works, Microsoft Works spreadsheets or Excel uh, what you want to do is you want to come up to File. Let's come to File, uh, Save As, and you want to save this document here. Just save it to our desktop, and to we'll give it the name Sample Table, and we are going to change the save as type I'm going to change this type to an Excel 2007 word book let's get the extension XLSX and click save and that will tra transfer that to your desktop and it will uh, change the format of that because like this state just now Dreamweaver will not accept so minimize this and then we'll come to Dreamweaver now I'm going to come to file I'm going to come to import and excel document and I'm going to search my desktop and there's sample table open and it should just transfer that right in there um, no problem at all it takes a few seconds because there's quite a lot of content so there it is so we just need to change the dimensions and stuff so I'll just come down to the bottom of the table click there so I know the whole table selected I'll come down into the width which is down here in your properties just zoom in there, down there so we'll just give this a a width of 800 Oops. so I've actually deleted the table so I'll install that again file, import in fact I'll just come to edit and undo backspace edit undo so here we are so again I'll come here select the table I'll come down to the width and I'll make it 800 hit enter and as you can see it brings that in so when you preview this in the browser at this state just now there will be no lines uh, splitting up the cells and stuff you come down here into where it says cell padding give it a cell padding of 4 give it a cell spacing of 4 and we'll give it a border of let's say 1 just hit enter and there you can see you have your kind of border happening now you don't need to worry about these kind of little lines here that's dashed what that is doing that is just Dreamweaver telling you that this cell is empty however when you preview that in the browser We'll just preview that just now in Chrome. So preview this in Google Chrome. Save changes. And as you can see, that actually they're all the same. So that's just Dreamweaver telling you that the cell's empty. But when it appears in the browser, it will be the same cell as a cell with content within it. So I hope this tutorial's helped. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure and drop by the website helpvid.net and until the next tutorial, stay safe.